and uh, 10 minutes for uh, uh, question answer uh namaste one and all uh, dr shashikant here uh, so we'll start a presentation of uh, the focus of our research like how in in my clinical practice and in my uh, practice how i modules how i use this modules uh, in my day to day practice uh, we'll go to the second slide yeah this is your second slide You want me to flip your slide? Next slide. Yeah, next, next one, ma'am. Okay. there was an interesting uh, understanding and awareness when uh, first time i met uh, dr nagratna ji she was a mbbs md of rcp uh, head of arogya dhama is uh, she mentioned one point that uh, why can't uh, uh, you think of joining md so i met her in uh, palace ground for a book exhibition so then she mentioned you will be the first mbbs doctor to do the md yoga from isvasa if it, if you do so that was a very interesting uh, uh, point where i was interested in integrative medicine from the beginning time and i was uh, having some source to get involved into so that was my initial uh, motivation to join in for md in yoga and rehabilitation so during my studies of uh, mbbs i always used to be inspired by uh, swami vivekananda and an indian heritage but i, I always used to think that we as a so called modern medical doctors are following exact version of british medical system so british medical system whatever they are saying if one drug is released in uk or usa for that drug to come to india it will take some 20 30 years minimum at least 4 to 5 years you know if in a, an emergency so we are so much dependent on the western uh, medical fraternity so much so that it it has become like a and uh, a uh, subconscious uh, slavery mindset so this always used to hurt me all the time and i used to think what what we have as an uh, you know adaptation for a western uh, conventional medical practice what we have as an indian so answer used to be always yoga and ayurveda and indian spirituality so this is kind of uh, uh, motivation for me to learn uh, more about yoga and ayurveda and the spiritual heritage of india so that is one uh, joining point for me to get involved into an integrative medicine through starting point of ashwasa so vivekananda ji always used to say the best combine the best of the east and the best of the west so always my mind used to so be, being a medical uh, mbbs medical doctor if i talk about uh, yoga or ayurveda the acceptance of ayurveda and yoga will be little better uh, uh, specialist other uh, kind of doctors world disease uh, burden from um, uh, who so there is an interesting statistics i would like to share is uh, ncds non communicable diseases constitutes about 41 a uh, million deaths every year which constitutes approximately around 79 to 80% of all the de- deaths put together so it is a statistical data which is very staggering so it means non communicable diseases are responsible for more than 80% of the deaths and most of these are preventable and another statistic says 70% of primary physicians visit the so UK US based uh, statistics from NIH National Institute of Health 70% of the patients who visit the primary physician the family doctor first time all the 70% of the time diseases are associated with stress so it is a staggering statistical data 
saying that if we can avoid or reduce or mitigate or cope up with the stress i can avoid 70% of the time to visit a modern medical doctor and by seeing popularity of yoga other conventional complementary alternative medical systems top 10 used to be yoga and uh, ayurveda so nih has decided to have another unit called as nccam national council for complementary and alternative medicine so which which has formed after seeing a tremendous growth of uh, 39 to 42% of uh, routine patients diverting towards one or other modalities of uh, alternative treatment so this has inspired uh, to act upon the disease much before it starts so it comes to integrative medicine preventive medicine but the preventive medical system is not evolved so much because of the financial matters where people do not want to pay for prevention of the disease once the disease comes the doctor comes for action for giving treatment at the physical body and my question as the doctor cho was telling so we'll go to the next slide whatever is the cause of the disease genetic uh, nature or infection or any other disease we got to know that 70 to 80 percent of the disease are ncds non-communicable diseases amongst this ncds there are four major categories first one is the uh, hypertension and cardiac related death the first major killer worldwide second one is the uh, cancer varieties of cancer third one is the copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or lungs related obstructive disease fourth one is uh, diabetes so if at all we focus on these four major categories of diseases we can address around 80% of the premature deaths worldwide these are all statistics from the bcho with this request on working in integration with conventional medical a conventional medical practice practitioner i associate with a seniors like a neurologist or general physicians or endocrinologists and i work with them to design different modules uh, madam if possible we'll go to the next slide so next slide is a illness wellness continuum this one slide will explain the best integration of uh, and the emerging point of the conventional country at the center there is a neutral point towards the uh, left side of the illness wellness continuum that is a disease progression early stage of disease medial stage of disease advanced stage of disease and at last is a premature death or death and towards the right side it is a optimal health and wellness so doctor focus sir uh, slides are not moving uh, i need madam self second one it was on the second slide only i'll again share your slide okay so that's okay uh, so illness wellness continuum on left side there is a progression of disease and premature death on the central point is a neutral point and towards right side is an optimal health and wellness so any disease a doctor is seeing he is seeing from the neutral point towards the left side our aim of our work of integrative medicine and designing module is to bring any patient from the stage 3 towards 2 towards 1 and towards the neutrality and then the maintaining of good health swasthya swasthya rakshanam what is our ayurveda principle says so treat the symptoms maintain the health there are only two main aims of ayurveda so then the 
incorporation of all the integrative modalities starts from here to towards the maintain of optimal health or wellness in this regard for western audience to get convinced i use a module module of s art yeah so this uh, second slide you are seeing as a uh, it's an illness wellness continuum and illness wellness continuum suggest that high level of wellness can be achieved through awareness education and growth what lyb is trying to do is to add this awareness education and growth in the form of online presence of uh, various videos and uh, all different subject matter experts diet ayurveda and yoga so i use the modality of s art so s art represents the self awareness self regulation and self transcendence mode i'll share it in the s art module awareness self regulation and self transcendence module which means that if you can use yoga as a ybf yoga based practices all the western audience understand yb p they all call it as ybp so if at all i have to reach to their minds and heart or their left brain orientation i i go through this so all the yoga based modules if we know from the uh, past research articles and the the incidences of uh, yoga practices 20 million on an average 20 million americans practices yoga every day so this is again a very interesting uh, uh, statistical data for me and i used to focus on a i wanted to focus on a a new place where there is a less of yoga so statistics has helped me to take the shape of my work in my uh, life uh, career for all this 14 years so once i got to know that 20 million americans are practicing yoga and i used to find a new i wanted to find a new place where there is a less of a religion more of the challenges so i focused on china so presently usually when we get the statistics we get the statistics from the known world like america 20 million people but actual statistics now says that there are more than 30 million yoga practitioners are in china so yoga came to china around 2002 when uh, through america so this is very interesting statistics for me and with this uh, little basic statistics i focus my journey towards uh, china where i combined the different modules and i projected myself as a cult we'll go to the next slide which will uh, which will be the last so this is based on uh, 44 research articles combined together which suggests that yoga module i'll i'll include both my my uh, individual growth and uh, content for uh, lybl so appropriate and robust protocol for better efficient trials in yoga can be put together in these few highlighting points first one is a style of yoga so world world knows western audience knows as a father of modern yoga is a krishnamacharya and the lineage all those the three uh, major uh, subdivisions of krishnamacharya yoga school ayangar school of bk sayangar ashtanga yoga of patabi joys and uh, uh, desi kachar of uh, vinyasa yoga chennai chennai mysore and uh, pune 
the three are major subdivisions of krishnamacharya yoga modern yoga style so west only understands this west do not know much of the deeper aspect of what we are discussing right now we are discussing with the acceptance mindset that we all know the panchakosha viveka we all know the vata pitta kapha we all know the pancha mahabhutas we are accepting subconsciously once we are accepting subconsciously then we are talking about how to integrate vata shamana yoga or vata increasing yoga pitta shamana yoga we are discussing this 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 discussion is happening because subconsciously we accepted the principle of the yoga and ayurveda philosophy but but west is not that west only knows from the perspective of what it has been exposed to so it has been exposed to these three styles of yoga they they know the structural yoga is a subdivision of again subdivision of bk sayangar student who started a structural yoga so there are n number of yoga institutions somebody says there are as many number of individuals that many yoga institutions can be named and uh, one difficulty for modern research orientation i'll give all the few relevant examples is in in drug trials in uh, clinical formulations in the yoga style everywhere people wants to project their individual brand or individual medicine and then trademark it for example i'll take a yoga module sahaja yoga is a practice based on the kundalini style which is again the basic platform is patanjali and hatha yoga combination of this only it's an offshoot of that derive derivation is from that and there are n number of articles you will find in sahaja yoga similarly sudarshana kriya famous there are research articles published from nimhan but basically sudarshana kriya is a trademarked content which under under uh, signed the trademark content which has a ujjaya pranayama vibhagiya pranayama and uh, uh, hyperventilation techniques which are modulated in a uh, nutshell in the form of a trademark content of uh, sudarshana kriya so likewise in in uh, usa curcumin as an example curcumin ashwagandha are used as a single drug medicines so there are lot of funding for doing the trademarked content rather than the general like nadi shodhana pranayama helps for hemispherical synchronization so this is a generally known research article there will not be much funding for if we at all want to take up any yoga uh, modules there will not be funding for generalized yoga but if you say i want to have an trademark lybl yoga module then there will be lot of funding so this is a highlighting point for us to think in this direction of making yoga based practice modules which are focusing completely on optimizing the health promoting the stress reduction and increasing the self regulation in the perspective of preventive and uh, therapeutic modalities so after this statement there are various styles of yoga and yoga being the non licensed uh modality in the west so it is just taken as a you know you can you can think like a uh, with a big meal you are taking pickle so similarly yoga is taken yoga do not have a structured license approach there is a you know yoga alliance certification 200 or 500 hours and all those star again on education just two months of study of yoga you can you will become yoga master 500 hours you will become yoga master without the teaching as in the west is physical and psychological benefits so but for us yoga is a complete a uh, package so if we can make a package of a style of yoga again coming back to the first uh, statement is style of yoga you make your style are you focusing on the structure alignment of the asanas are you focusing on the breathing techniques are you focusing on the mindfulness uh, component of the uh, meditation and doing some modifications which are allowed which are uh, you know which will not uh, cause any operate infringement and then give a modified version 
of uh, that case for example in a breathing i can add an example that a paced breathing technique will increase the prolactin levels and oxytocin release which can promote the feeling of calmness and social bonding so this is a research article from dr turner et al 2002 so if we have a clarity of what to give we can design a module accordingly so with a simple statement of this paced breathing increases prolactin and oxytocin with another understanding of inhalation coincides with the sympathetic nervous system exhalation coincides with parasympathetic nervous system if we can design so i have i use a module called as 446 breathing 448 breathing so scientifically i know that inhalation coincides with sympathetic nervous system exhalation coincides with parasympathetic nervous system i design a breathing technique saying that 4 seconds breathing 4 seconds holding the breath and 8 seconds exhalation or 6 seconds exhalation will stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system that is a kind of a hypoth- hypothetical claim based on the previous uh, research article if i design so i design a module of 4 4 breathing with a mudra i individually use this as a mudra mudra i use it as a thought dissociation technique so i'm giving a breathing technique nadi shodhana i can use no doubt left nostril breathing i can use for uh, reducing the sympathetic uh, dominance i use but also i can give an additional trademark the content which i claim you know quote in quote i claim that uh, there is a difference between generic yoga and you know non generic yoga i can claim that it will have effect on your uh, perceived stress scale pss yoga can reduce the stress by changing the galvanic skin resistance and indirectly reducing the sympathetic tone if you can prove because it we know it we know the uh, science behind yoga we know the basic uh, research uh, literature review and if we can propose this so i what i propose right now is style of yoga i'm i'm giving a breathing module of 4 seconds 4 seconds uh, inhalation 4 seconds holding the breath 8 seconds exhalation as a breathing module with a mudra for each disease i can add a mudra mudra will help me to dissociate thoughts from worrisome thoughts to something neutral i can claim that number of thoughts will be reduced sympathetic tone will be reduced and we will go to a phase of relaxation response so what uh, uh, sunita madam was describing release of endothelial nitric oxide this is the greatest ever research we should never forget uh, dr herbert benson who recently in february past year 2021 was the greatest scientist worked on uh, the relaxation response i recommend this book to all of us all the lybl friends none of none of the modern medical doctors would be ever aware of this book in uh, you know we ever the harvard medical science wherever all the great institutions but we do not know it so the limitations is we are not being exposed we including being in india so there is a pathetic pathetic state of this that's okay that uh, we cannot there is a significant transformation in the education system so coming back french child i in particular time because there is a gray area so there is a huge gray area there is no uh, exact modules which have significant you know uh, uh, individual modules designed for a particular cause there is not much going to the next dose and delivery of yoga so up till now on an average people have used weekly two to three classes each um, from 45 minutes to 60 minutes for 6 to 8 weeks this is the on an average of all the 44 article on an average it says that we use only 45 minutes to 60 minutes module which is subdivided into you know breathing technique for 5 minutes asana for 12 minutes uh, uh, meditation for 8 to 10 minutes and the explanation of uh, related uh, this particular practice for 2 to 5 minutes it can encompasses around 
45 plus minutes so longest one was one which is done on the back pain it is the longest module which is for 12 weeks plus so dose and delivery of yoga it is again another second important part that if we can modulate the dose according to the dignitaries whatever we have all these people they are all more than enough for us to design a particular dose and delivery of yoga system by various permutation combinations with all the discussions if we can design and re- make a ready presentation it will be appropriate for us for a uh, best uh, you know yoga protocol so that gray area where there is a protocol is missing individual techniques are there like i mentioned sahaj yoga individual techniques are there left nostril breathing right nostril breathing chandra bheda surya bheda nadi shodhana pranayama so west only west has a little different mindset with uh, i don't know why they hate uh, eastern uh, eastern mind body medicine that is yoga i don't know why west hate so nadi shodhana pranayama they want to call it as a coherent breathing technique so there are research which will change the perspective of yoga altogether so i don't know it is a inferiority complex or what we exactly do not know but the claim convincing the western mind is little difficult they do not understand the art and the intuitiveness of uh, ayurveda principles they do not understand the art and the depth of you know pranayama when uh, manjula ji was telling so being established in the prana is different which which i can categorically tell them that if i can de- design uh, a swastika in the line diagram at the center i'll make a three circles one circle at the center around that circle another circle around that another circle with five spokes so center circle represents the spirit the surrounding circle represents the mind and surrounding circle another circle around it will represent the body and the five uh, spokes five five arrows represents the uh, five senses so if you are established in your true self it means the mind body spirit is aligned your parasympathetic sympathetic sympathetic nervous system is balanced your muscles are toned better your regulatory system is better your acid base balance is better and you are contented within then only we can say swastha so with this uh, you know understanding of the eastern science even who has to change Uh, the definition of uh, health so they will not so we need to have a robust dose and delivery of yoga and next one is the components of yoga intervention what exact components we add in in the yoga intervention with this uh, 44 articles what it says is majority of the yoga inclination is based on selected asanas given for a particular duration like one asana you select and give for 2 minutes holding asana or a flow of asana you know then you add other asana then give a particular permutation combination add a breathing technique add a relaxation technique majority people uses relaxation technique i'll give two examples mindfulness based research sorry mindfulness based stress reduction mbsr program designed by cobat and zin 1990 mindfulness based cognitive therapy program this is designed by sigal et al 2002 so west understands if i say anything like this west uh, western people's mind including people all doctors from india they i'm ta- talking about conventional doctors they'll understand ha ha kuch to hai kuch to hai they'll say that but if i say i'll give a definition or just a you know, if i express the mindfulness i'll express the mindfulness as the awareness that emerges through paying attention on a purpose in the present moment and non judgmentally in that present moment you unfold the experience moment to moment so some you know, complete looks complete so if i what if i make this the research article so cobat and zinc So another another definition if i say the discriminative awareness of encoding registering the experience considerably associated with ethically developed as a path towards the enlightenment and cessation of suffering so this is another definition for mindfulness if i 
give the western audience like this with a reference they will adopt any of our module which have our components with the sync with modern complete modern perspective it is not uh, uh, not just a bias or it is not just my own individual experience but it is a collective experience so we have to design a components which are uh, which have uh, components of same nadi shodhana pranayama same left nostril breathing i can give in 20 different modules as uh, dr chow was also saying left nostril breathing 29 27 times with the it is the reduction is the mind where half of that is 54 half of that is 27 so there is a spiritual component in the number of breathing for general anxiety disorder if i use 40 40 40 yes you can use a module you can claim that uh your cognitive functioning and emotional processing will change based on the changes happening in the prefrontal parietal cerebellar circuits of the brain based on the research of balster et al 2014 if i say this uh, statement even though it is a uh, research based statement yet i modify 27 27 27 left nostril breathing i'll add it as 40 40 40 if it is 40 40 five times i'll i work in the neurology department i designed modules for uh, so we have seen significantly quality of life in this there is a number of i'll ask them to maintain a stress by the saying that uh, note down the episode what is happening to you and how you respond to the incidence of stress and how you better respond so that itself is a I'll, i'll make them i'll ask them to do a column saying that one is date second one is uh, incidents stressful incidents whatever stressful incidents happened with them next column will be the immediate response they cry they fight over next to that would be another column which says what is better response according to you just noting down subconsciously this cognitive behavioral therapy so in this assertive this is so then in the come hospital so what i mean to say is what components you use if it is a filtered out component then the acceptance of world will be much better then coming to the specific class sequence as we know we we studied from various institutions uh, srsa bk sangar patanjali uh, bihar school of yoga and all this major institutions each person's style and focus would be different so if i break it down asana same asana if i do it slowly with awareness there is a change in the thermodynamics of the blood if that can be noted down there is a student of uh, bk sangar who was a cardiologist he used to record ultrasound uh alter sound of blood circulation of uh, different people doing different asanas ardha shirshasana shirshasana bhujangasana no no dog every uh asana he will just do the scanning jugular veins heart stroke volume heart the heart something like that specific well designed trademarkable content for lybl we have to be absolutely specific again this specificity comes from various input from all the, all of you and fourth uh, sorry fifth component is dealing with modifications when i'm telling uh, you know research says that uh, so yoga increases gmv yoga increases uh, gray matter volume there is a Uh, research which was done for uh, more than 4 5 years and they, they found all the yoga instructors they found that the particular area of the brain insula cingulate cortex medial prefrontal cortex inferior and superior parietal lobules have significantly increased in their gray matter in the people who are doing yoga long term yoga practitioners another research says long term yoga practitioners deep sleep cycle will be better another research says 
long term yoga practitioners gaba level will be better gaba mano benzer kaise another research says the pain perception of yoga people will not be they can tolerate pain better because they they work on the pain perception receptors based on the neuro imaging called as the voxel based morphometry and the diffusion tensor imaging so they noticed that pain perception was much better emotional contentment was better based on the prolactin and oxytocin because of this interpersonal and intrapersonal intelligence was better in yoga people compared to normal people social bonding is better with yoga people because of oxytocin example so if you can modify something for lybl and select the next uh, comes the instructor this is the greatest ever uh, bias in uh, in, in uh, selecting a module because there is no fixed uh, module each yoga teacher based on the basic knowledge of that yoga teacher content will become changed yesterday i was mentioning slow surya namaskara fast surya namaskara this is the dr anand balayogi's research he concludes that fast surya namaskara we can use it for weight reduction module slow surya namaskara i can use for hypertension module so we need to be so much precise why are you using slow surya namaskara why are you using chandra namaskara why are you making particular asana hold for certain duration then it will become an isometric so if i can subdivide 650 skeletal muscles 230 joints and 206 bones in permutation combination yoga is the only exercise in the world which will work on the skeletal muscles the smooth muscles and the cardiac muscles this is absolutely uh, staggering uh, it, it is like it is like a wonder there is no exercise in the world which can work on the smooth muscles of your esophagus and the stomach so the kriyas where you know we are not going to give any kriyas to online public i understand but when we explain yoga works at all these three levels when you are doing the kumbhaka there is a change in the diastolic blood volume if i know if i can design something for person with congestive cardiac failure for retention of breath kumbhaka i modulate i will not say hatha yoga says e karo i will not say that i'll say research has done and it shows that um, diastolic blood volume increases diastolic blood volume increases your cardiac load reduces allostatic load cardiac load reduces the perfusion to the coronary artery will be better so this is a five year study from uh, narayana hospital narayana hospitalia uh, post cabg and yoga there are a lot of uh, phd msc students are involved in this so it says that uh, just like how calcium channel blockers will work yoga also works as an adjuvant they use it as an adjuvant so selection of the instructor is at most important manjuna ji was telling you know nowadays anybody with uh, two months three months yoga teaching will become uh, yoga master there are so many you know institutions now offer you sit at home pay me 1.5 lakhs i'll give you phd i, I can introduce so in this kind of clouded uh, kashmala filled environment we need to be a pure potential where select the instructor uh, whoever uh, done the msc phd whatever authentically select them with a you know knowledge base that can be selected by our own again our own team whatever team we have now it's best i think because it uh, it uh, connects with the best of and philosophy much meticulously um, so selection uh, uh, instructor if it is a if it is a uh, you know good knowledgeable instructor he can he or she can deliver much better so next comes is a facilitation of home based practice so this we should be careful in designing as the medha madam says uh, level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 we have to design the module in a such a way that it will 
make people follow in a uh, larger amount larger the subscribers should be more and they should follow it follow the that this is better the so model should be better and measurement of uh, intervention over time so because it is a online module we need to be precise in what we might get yesterday i was mentioning like a physical parameters blood parameters or a psychological questionnaire based parameters or any other uh, variables if you are using we need to monitor one month three month six month one year depends on the uh, number of duration of uh, subscribers and uh, their uh, their intervention if it is six weeks eight weeks uh, 12 weeks whatever it is and we even if we get 30 people's uh, proper data we can publish good article good uh, research article so this was in a kind of nutshell which uh, is what should be the appropriate robust protocol for us so we'll go to the next slide so challenge for us is i reduced all the slides because the most of slides were uh, uh, it is overlapping uh, sunita madam uh, manjuna sir and job has most of the slides we were you know already know a bunch of uh, five sheets and all those uh, adrenal axis biological clock circadian rhythm serotonin all happy hormones and everything if we go one more step deeper for example if i'll, I'll give one example if we are doing prataka a yoga teacher is teach, teaching only prataka okay prataka famous one is the candle candle gazing technique you do the candle gazing technique you learn prataka uh, all the basic things if i connect if i can connect to a western audience saying that okay if you, if your sees ophthalmic ophthalmologist also is sitting there i can say that sir when there is an ocular convergence there is a defocusing effect on the brain how can you say that if he or she asks i'll say that there is already research done by uh, bam bham 1965 has done a research on ocular convergence and defocusing same defocusing effect yoga people are telling it like a bru madhya focus you focus on your bru madhya the place we call it as medically we call it as glabella the place between the eyeballs you focus on the glabella you feel the defocusing effect another research says that when the mind is wandering there is a small uh, uh, circular the micro uh, micro movements of the eyeballs along with the mind so if eyes are fixed on to a point there is an indirect effect on the mind to control it so this is proven with the research that if the external uh, you know the eye eyeballs will develop at, a, at an uh, uh, at an age of uh, two weeks after the conception as a direct extension of the brain so brain direct extension ocular uh, uh, eyeballs and more than 80% of the external world stimuli is from eyeballs and the inner ear so if at all i can design a yoga module and i'll say that in prataka if i say prataka i'll give it the any yoga teacher then i'll say that when you fix your eyeball the computer with a computer i claim that the blink rate normal blink rate is 14 to 20 i'll say that the blink rate is blink per minute then introduce yoga module which i'll is again based on ocular convergence and defocusing effect and indirect effect on control of the mind then i'll give a design a module then post after they do it for you know, four weeks eight weeks ten weeks then i'll again measure the blink rate if there is a p value says that blink rate is enhanced when the practitioners of uh, you no know, computer vision people with computer vision sy syndrome or it people who focus on it then it, this itself is a module which is based on one research the ocular convergence second eastern philosophy of prataka so if uh, this is exactly what i'm trying to say is uh, this is already it's a module so if i can create a module like this which is altogether new which uh, combination would be never heard of 
you know uh, same modules like an ad okay focus the focus eyeball exercise the palming effect and all this but make it in a particular masala that uh, the west audience understand the masala like i can say that um, there is a research by craig 2009 states that insula is a part of the key neural substrate which focuses on interoceptive awareness when you are doing yoga particularly yoga meditation if i do i'll say that check your functional brain mri what is the state of insula uh, insular cortex or primary secondary sensory motor cortex or anterior pre curious all this nuclei is there any change in the structural change in the gray matter of functional brain mri if we do by our meditation so if i give them so much precise they will show the interest if it proves this proves secondary if they if they prove okay sir your technique is not working on insula if they say that for for us it is a good that we know that it is not working in that particular part so we might not help them in uh, uh, you know getting a, a cognitive therapy for emotional balance cognitive balance memory uh, enhancement so we'll again we'll change we'll change and we'll see the you know other modalities if we can give so coming back to a statement that lybl has to focus on trademarking their content filter out all the basement uh, baseline everything all the efforts should be focusing on what breathing technique what uh, asanas from uh, the scriptures of uh, traditional uh, patanjali uh, yoga style or hatha yoga style hatha yoga describes about 15 uh, basic asanas uh, giranda samhita describes about 32 basic asanas but altogether asanas are 82 lakhs of uh, 84 lakhs of asanas amongst that like as many number of yonis that many asanas one, one of the book describes and then lord shiva uh, describes that amongst this many asanas 84 asanas are important and filtering out 84 asanas we'll say 32 are most important as represented by grand smita so if we design a yoga module basically using this 15 asanas from hatha yoga and 32 asanas from giranda samhita there is a primary components of uh, uh, the previous slide what we designed yoga module components of that which you will get a scriptural reference anatomy physiology already available uh, research modalities we can connect to it and add our hypothesis when you add your hypothesis it is a difficult part it is not easy question for us we have to prove it proving in that proving part uh, lwi bill can think of investing money uh, all the research articles because they are going to get so with this i think i'll pause and uh, i end my uh, presentation that it is a uh, wide open uh, for debate and discussion because it is a uh, it, it is a part of uh, uh, part of experiential and part of uh, intuitive Uh, expression of a uh, you know powerpoint is not very good in uh, uh, putting them everything in a um, kind of a slide so is not uh, i was thinking it is it powerpoint uh, you know usually it will over overwhelm us to just to read the presentation i'll i'll become very sensitive to read the presentation i'll not be able to express so i made it very uh, just four slide presentation coming back to the last point is we have to design a module which are called as ybp yoga based practices which we can understand and with that uh, whatever uh, components would, what we shared what we you know uh, we can use like uh, different um, interventions like multi dimensional assessment of introspective awareness mi maia so difficulties in emotional regulation scale ders rational compassion scale rcs body awareness questionnaire like this we can add multiple uh, you know perceived stress scale subjective well being inventory so all this uh, there are as many questionnaire uh, we can add which are already available and uh, physical parameters which are uh, uh, very precise rather than just we are saying general statement your lactate your salivary cortisol will reduce so we need to test and prove it it's very simple if a uh, bio- biochemistry biochemist can help us in getting that done so design our own module based on the existing uh, literature review of different modalities 
and then claim that it is working in a particular way and try to prove it so that that's the way i think uh, as an individual i think of uh, uh, setting a standard because there is a good gray area in the uh, in the yoga protocol design because there are not much specific targeted designs which are proven so with this i'll uh, end the session and it is never ending session but uh, i'll get give a pause to my you know mortal uh, space dimension but it is wide open we can work on many generation on this shall i stop sharing the screen dr shishan yeah. ah, yes ma'am yes. thank you ma'am thank you dr shishan ji for taking us to a factual presentation facts of the research in yoga field and the identifying the gray areas in the research models uh if you if anyone wants to have any questions or any inputs or any discussion points uh you all are welcome session is open for the discussion and the question and answer हेलो हेलो मेधा मैडम एनी इनपुट्स फ्रॉम योर साइड एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो हाय यस मैडम यू आर ऑडिबल या यू आर ऑडिबल या सो एनी इनपुट्स all your suggestions inputs or any points which we have want to you want to convey all are welcome they give us a guideline namaste rajesh namaste am i audible Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, very nice. Uh, uh, though I could uh, listen uh, to some of your uh, talks, uh, this is uh, amazing uh, connectivity. That's what I feel. How do we connect this? Connecting is the most important uh, part of that, and uh, connecting to the Western world, this uh, uh, Eastern science. Uh, there are some innovations, definitely. As uh, Shashikant ji said, uh, that they follow. They know only three. either uh, the divisions of uh, yoga like krishna marchari vivek engar uh, sorry <laughs> bk sengar and uh, uh, patavi jyoti yoga ashtavinga vinyasa yoga but they don't know they don't even accept uh, this is the truth is even when i went to china they are not ready to accept beyond the body level this is what is bothering they if we say something spiritual you know they say no 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 we don't want we are happy with the body level uh, benefits and all they say they don't want to go beyond the body level so this is what i experienced the difficulty when i try to give the insight from the spiritual angle in china itself so i was not aware of this in 2002 only china started doing yoga so before that uh, even uh, i am surprised to hear first time from shashikant ji so i, I was not knowing that but uh, this is what we connect connecting is the most important aspect of what we uh, have to do it in a very intelligent way for all for doing all this intelligent uh, intelligent people all of us are intelligent here but uh, connecting all the intelligence and presenting in a palatable way that's what matters and the libel model everything modules we have to together sit and uh, uh, modulate all these things taking everything right very nice shashikant ji thank you very much for your input thank you good thank you good thank you. thank you
any other uh, all are very welcome i think we are all kanta uh, dr gunjan dr sangeeta medha ma'am okay i think uh, no, now the, there are no comments or any discussion as such so we will conclude the session thank you dr shashikant ji for giving this uh, inputs and the uh, recognizing the gray area thank you ma'am thank you yes thank you for uh, helping me thank you everyone thank you we thank you ma'am this meeting thank you everyone thank you bye Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Namaste.